people waited more than three hours to get tested for COVID-19 at this Northern California site. In Phoenix, Arizona, it was as long as eight hours. The testing demand comes as 37 out of 50 states have rising case numbers. In Texas, where hospitalization numbers are about double what they were 10 days ago, doctors near Austin say, if needed, they can still handle an influx of firework injuries. With many 4th of July shows canceled, people are preparing their own displays. Protesters took to the streets outside an Army recruitment office in San Antonio in honor of Specialist Vanessa Guillen. Army investigators remain tight-lipped about her disappearance even after human remains were found in this central Texas field on Tuesday. Guillen vanished from Fort Hood in late April. Officials say a suspect in Guillen's disappearance died by suicide when approached by police on Wednesday. A survey shows most Americans are leaving travel out of their Independence Day plans. The Finance Buzz study says, despite usually busy 4th of July travel, about 72% of people are staying home. Around 15% are staying local. Only about 3% say they'll travel more than two hours from home. What are your holiday weekend plans? Let us know in the comments. Those are the stories we're keeping our eye on. I'm Nancy Chin. We'll have more next time.